Welcome to Leadership Mastery. I'm Dr. Jeff McGee. Number 60, LinkedIn Learning Survey Poll. You know, a couple years ago, I posted a survey on LinkedIn, and I was, I was stunned at the number response that came back. And so I, I recently reposted it. We had thousands of people that responded to the survey. And so let me go over the math with you. Three sets of numbers critically important in this survey to give you perspective. So the question I asked was, how often do your employees fail to do the job and it is acceptable? So one more time, how often do your employees fail to do a part of their job or their job period and it's acceptable in your organization? 54% responded saying that's a norm in their business today. This post-COVID, you know, 2020, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 year window we're in. 54% of responders said that there's a ton of time employees don't do their job and it's acceptable. 38% said sometimes it's up to the employee whether or not they want to do or not do a piece of their job. And 8% said never. So again, the question is, how often do your employees fail to do their job and it's acceptable? 54% of the time, 38% of the time, and 8 8 is never. I find it fascinating. Let me reverse this to you as a leader. What if I were to come to your organization right now and say to you, I want this job. Here's what I can bring massive value to your company. Here's the compensation package I would like for it that I think is fair market compensation. And you gave that to me. So no more debate. You're going to, we want you. Here it is, Jeff. And then I were to say, oh, by the way, 54% of the time I'm not going to be reachable because I've just decided I'm not even going to be available. So I'm just not available. And then 38% of the time on top of that, I may or may not be available. It just depends upon the mood I'm in. But 8% of the time, you can count on me to show up. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to buy that one. So why do you create systems, structures, processes, procedures, an environment and a, con and a culture that allows people to, in essence, not do the job you've hired them to do? And oh, by the way, for the fringe people watching this one, that's why a lot of employers are looking for ways to automate jobs because they're tired of playing this HR nightmare game. So they automate it away, and then guess what? Now you don't have to worry about whether you want to work or not because you're now unemployed. What do your team really do? What's the reality of your organization? Check out the math. Look at the answers. Go look at your team.